finishes her dance, and it's time for all the other children to dance straight up to the radio because Uncle Lumpy is ready to begin the story of Orly's Christmas. Well, now, Orly got in bed and went to sleep on Christmas Eve to dream of all the things that old Santa Claus would leave. But all of a sudden, there's a mighty funny sound. He woke up under the window and looked all around. Well, the first thing he saw was Santa in his sleigh. The sleigh was tipped over and the reindeer would run away. Old Santa, he was standing there looking like he'd cry. And when he seen Orly, he heaved a big sigh. He says, oh dear, what a Christmas this'll be. We were just coming down when we hit an old tree. Guess that all little girls and all the little boys will wake up in the morning and they won't have any toys. Well, Orly says, my, what a shame that'd be. But wait just a minute. I've got an idea. Now, you just wait, and I'll be right back. And he put on his clothes and went down to the railroad track. He stood by the crossing, and it wasn't very long till the little switch engine come a-puffin' right along. <laughs> Orly says, engine, come along, because we've got a lot of work to do for old Santa Claus. <laughs> And he puffed back to Orly's house right through the snow. Orly says, now you just wait here for me. And he went out in the woods to the happy bird's tree. The happy bird says, I'll help be gay. We'll laugh and sing when trouble comes our way. Then Orly got jingle, a chewing his bubble gum. And the old bull fiddle says, I'll be glad to come. Well, Santa Claus was waiting and he loaded them with toys and gave me each a list of all the good girls and boys. Then sat in the engine, up down the road. <laughs> and Dingle and the Happy Bird picked up their load. Nasty guy! Oh, the... And the old bull fiddle says, Orly, let's go. And they started through the snow. Well, now I want to tell you they were really quite a sight. Hopping and a-puffing and a-laughing through the night. Santa made the engine go flying through the air, much to the surprise of everybody everywhere. They'd land up on the rooftop just like Santa's sleigh. Santa'd leave his presents and they'd be on their way. <laughs> Dingle and the happy bird went running all the way, a popping and a singing just as happy as a jay. The happy bird would fly up to all the chimneys, throw the presents down and say, Be happy, please. Now, Orly and the fiddle went a-hopping everywhere. But when it came to chimneys, they just couldn't get up there. So Orly'd take the presents and leave them at the door, while the fiddle played carols till he couldn't play no more. Well, they worked all night, and they didn't miss a one. And just as it got light, Santa says, we're all done. Now all the little children will be happy as can be, and I can go back home and have a nice cup of tea. But Orly says, Santa, you have to stay here. Your sleigh's all busted and you've no reindeer. But just then they heard some teeny hoof sounds. And here come the reindeer in leaps and bounds. Aha, says Santa, I see you came back. But we sure can't travel with the sleigh all cracked. Well, the little switch engine gave a puff and a blow. Then he says, So they loaded up the sleigh and the old reindeer and Santa got aboard. But he says, listen here, why don't you all come along? The engine wouldn't mind. We'll go up to my workshop and see what we can find. So the happy bird and fiddle and Orly and Dingle, too, jumped on the train and away they flew. <laughs> Way up by the North Pole, the little engine stopped, and they all went in to visit Santa's workshop. Mrs. Santa Claus was there, and she gave them lots to eat. Then old Santa says, come on, folks, it's my turn to treat. He took them to his shop and started loading them with stuff till they just couldn't tote it, and they hollered, enough. Then he says, I'm afraid that you'd all better go. Folks do worry about boys, you know. But Orly, he says, Santa, you didn't get a thing. Don't you ever get nothing for all the presents that you bring? Well, Santa, he grinned, and he says, well, I believe that it's just a little better to give than to receive. Then the engine gave a toot, and while Santa waved goodbye, they left the North Pole and went sailing through the sky. They got back all right and unloaded all their things. Merry Christmas, came the happy bird and clapped his big old wings. Merry Christmas, says the fiddle. Same to you, says Zingle. <laughs> says the engine, and he gave his bell a jingle. And as they went on home, they all heard Orly call, A Merry, 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 Merry Christmas to you all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs>